from Fiji but grew up in California. He is a fan of cooking up Asian foods. Welcome Shelvin. Thank you for coming to share a fun recipe that we all can take home today. Well thank you guys. Thank you for having me here and I hope you guys like what we have cooking today. So let's just talk about you know your initial passion for cooking. What made you first you know start cooking? Why, why do you like to cook? Well, it was my grandmother actually. I saw her cooking one day and I said, what are you doing? Making dinner, she said. So I said, okay, let me watch. And from there, I'm here. Are you guys ready to see Sheldon create some madness in the kitchen? Yeah. Before, before we begin, let's go ahead and start off with our appetizer. Today we we're actually cooking you guys some tempura to go with our Asian cuisine thing tonight. So we have it, you know, ready for you guys to eat, but I wanted to share with you guys the secret sauce. Are you guys ready for that secret recipe? Okay, so we have two uh, sauces that I want to share with you guys. We, our first sauce is pretty basic. It's just wasabi and soy sauce. So I have about uh, four tablespoons of soy sauce and then just squirt a bunch of wasabi. And, and the other sauce is a little sweet and uh, has a little kick too. Uh, you have uh, minced ginger, about four tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of brown sugar, a little bit of vinegar. Mix it all up and you got a little sweet, but a sweet you got a little sweet sauce but with a little kick. The ginger gives it a real nice flavor. So are you guys ready to have some mm. good starters? Yeah. Yeah. So what are we going to be cooking tonight, Sheldon? All right, so today we have Thai chicken satay with a peanut sauce. That sounds great. Served with or without rice. It's really your guys' choice. So. Before we do anything with the chicken, I know everyone's looking at me like, oh, I saw some chicken earlier. But no, we're gonna make the sauce first. More important, guys. Because if you don't have delicious sauce, you can't have good chicken satay. Wow, these chicken satay are smelling good. I can't wait to try it with your peanut Thai sauce. Well, while this is cooking, let's go with it up. Let's do it. Come on, what kind of sauce are we going to make? A Thai peanut sauce. Ooh, mm, that's one of my favorites. Ooh, nice. <laughs> All right, so most recipes will call for a bunch of ingredients, you know, for us while we're in Dominica because you can always get nice fresh peanuts. You know one thing that I really wish that grew here that does not? Cilantro. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. See, so we can't get all of those things here. But what we can do is when we have them in season, we can make something like this. Now, one of the ingredients, or some of the ingredients for a Thai, pe well, Thai peanut sauce is ginger, garlic, some peppers, and a little bit of oil just to emulsify it. And obviously cilantro. Now, this is about one quarter cup of cilantro that I've made into a paste along with ginger, garlic, and some peppers to add some spice. Now we add that to our peanut, or in this case, peanut butter. Only the best IGA brand, <laughs> please. Now we're going to put some fish sauce. Now it says about one tablespoon, but I would like to say two tablespoons maybe even two and a half is probably the best. Fish sauce, fish sauce is great. I don't know if you guys ever had fish sauce, but hold on one second. I know someone wants to take a real sniff of it. It smells really good. Come on down here, Chris. 
<laughs> um, you know, the thing about fish sauce is, it's great to flavor foods with. And it smells great, don't you think? Well, well, fish. <laughs> like fish. well, here, just never watch the documentary on fish sauce. <laughs> Ever. You've been warned. I, I'm saving you guys a lot of trouble. All right, now, we have about three tablespoons of lime juice, or in this case, lemon juice, but, you know. It looks like limes here. It's enough citrus. Wow, this is a lot of citrus. It's pretty crazy. Some cayenne pepper, I'd say about a teaspoon to a tablespoon, depending <laughs> on your taste buds. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry guys. What we have over here is, um, oh yeah, sorry the lid came off. Um, a tablespoon of bellows. Sorry, I'm a little heavy handed, guys. He likes it spicy. Coconut <laughs> milk. Don't worry, it's all gonna be mixed up in just a second. It looks like crap right now. Don't worry. Um, Obviously, guys, I'm being very unconventional, but this is about a thimble full of vinegar that I'm putting in here. About two tablespoons of sesame oil. And about five tablespoons of soy sauce. So, once all the soy sauce is in, which should be happening any moment now. <laughs> That's a lot of sauce in that sauce. <laughs> well, some people like their peanut sauce crunchy. I don't. So, it'll be super creamy and hopefully super, super awesome. tasty. It'll be super tasty. He's gonna whip it up. Whip it real good. Now that I've done all the hard work, would anyone like to come and whip this sauce for me? It's really authentic, really Thai peanut sauce. Oh yeah, come on, whip it up. Yeah. Whip it up! Whip it real good! Alright. Now, now for the uh, moment of truth. Who wants to try this? I'll try it. Okay, Claire, come on out here and try it. Yeah. Oh yeah. We totally can try it all together. <laughs> the magical perfect peanut sauce that TV makes possible. Dip it. Cheers, my friends. Cheers. <laughs> I think we're going to be ready to try it with the chicken. I can't wait to actually try it with the chicken satay. Well, let's go get it. But we're going to get it already? Well, you know, I've learned, you know, doing your own cooking show, they already have the food cooked. So we have the food already ready, so let's go for Thai recipes, marinating the chicken. So, essentially, you'll need about a cup of lemongrass, chopped up. Um, you can get that all over the island, right? Well, mm -hmm. it depends on who you ask. But yeah, just about everywhere. Um, some ginger, garlic, onions, cilantro, peppers, essentially, like I said, the same ingredients, a few tablespoons of fish sauce, some soy sauce, a little bit of vinegar, Oh yes, soy sauce and my favorite, powdered cayenne pepper. 
because it's my best friend, and a little tiny bit of sesame oil, just a little bit. Now, after marinating it and mixing it up, we grilled it, yeah. and uh, here you go. So, ta -da. Now we have to try it up with the peanut sauce. Look at this madness that Shelvin's created. audience members to try this chicken with this wonderful peanut sauce. Uh, Naveen and Allison, why don't you guys come on up here? Doesn't that look really good? Oh yeah, it looks it's great. Good. It's The chicken and the sauce was great, uh, Shelvin. Thank you very much. Don't you guys think that the chicken and the sauce was great? <laughs> so I want to thank you for coming out here to share both recipes. Isn't it great sharing and learning recipes from friends? Maybe I'll be in your neighborhood next time. Here's to good food.